Alright guys, before I play the next part to my Lord of the Rings Gondor campaign episode, what is it, 6? Uh, I just want to have a, a little bit of your time really to talk about someone else's channel and I don't know him at all really, but the fact is he's starting up a new Lord of the Rings 3rd Age Total War campaign. Now I know there are a lot of people around who do them, uh, really popular people like Serial Belief and I know one of the other people I subscribe to called uh, Lionheart. They also do Let's Plays of uh, the Third Age Total War and they're really popular so go check them out. Uh, but in particular this guy asked me so, you know, I like to give back to some of my fans or anybody who asks really. You know, I'm a nice guy, I'm going to try and help them out as much as I can because they watch me so I'm going to watch some of their stuff as well, especially if I like it. So his name is Jas the Scare, probably said that wrong again. Uh, and he's, he was doing a vote as well. So if you could just go over and give him a check out, now he doesn't have that many subscribers or many views, but like, as I said before, a couple of months earlier, like a year ago, I had like no subs, nothing, and we all start somewhere, and as a community we need to like really help each other out sometimes, uh, and this is a great way to start, you know, you don't just have to watch one person's point of view on a game, you could watch tons of people, so you could go over and check his stuff, I'll only speak about this for a minute, I'll leave his channel in the doobly doo below. Um, so really, just give him a sh go, give it a check out, watch it. If you don't like it, well, he'll make some content that you'll probably like. I'm not too sure. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. This will just be like a short little introduction thing. Anyway, so this is the present me, and I'll be going to the past me. All right. Thank you guys for listening in. Hey everybody, welcome back to my Lord of the Rings Gondor campaign, episode six, I believe. So last time we left off, we were at the end of a turn, and we were going to take this place called Henneth Anun. So we are going to assault them now, and I shall see you on the battlefield in a second. Okay, and we're back, so I'm going to wait a turn, and okay, that seems to be fine. All right, so let's see. Um, so as I've seen before, this actual place looks really cool. Um, it's actually not even a castle or a fortress or a village or anything like that. It's just this gate. Which is badly placed because men can actually run up here around but I don't think they meant for that to happen um, so put them there put Faramir's unit up here um, and then we've got them grouping grouping we can drop that there so Men there, there, there. Okay, so let's start this battle. I'm gonna put it straight into six times speed. And uh, let's get going with this. Okay. These guys look really cool. Axemen of Lasarna. And we've got some bow units. So let's put them there. And let's put these guys there. So all my units are moving. I'm just gonna let it speed up go through, batter down the gates, and then we can go and face them head on. Really, I'm just going to let my archers do most of the work here. As you can see, Faramir has got the most experience anyway. That's because most of the time, he's like one of the only units firing arrows in and killing. I cannot see my archer militia doing much damage. Okay, so the battering ram's in place. The battering ram is in place. As the guy just said. Uh, it should be dead in a minute. Right, there we go. The gates have fallen. Of course they have. Right now, I'm going to send... Okay, I'm going to send my units up. We've captured the enemy's walls. Really, I'm just going to set Faramir in here. Archer militia here. Pillager Bowman here, and um, skirmishers can go right up here, uh, and stuff like that. So let's let them do that. I'm not really going to slow down until my archers start firing, because it's going to be a waste of battle time if we just let it speed down, I suppose. I want these guys to be on skirmish mode, which they are. Oh, wow, Mordor, thanks. You retards, why are you... Oh, 
How far can fire me fire to? I might as well let him fire for a while. Ah, oh, he actually can fire all the way up here. We killed any of them. We killed two of them. I think they're gonna fall back. Yeah, we're killing some of them though. I hate battles when the uh, enemy just refuse to like just cooperate and attack us. Why can't they just have a good defense? But no, they're just hiding in their little cavern places, ready to be cut down. These would be the bodyguards here, and that is their general. So if I can kill their captain, that'll be good. So I'm gonna let it go down to six times speed. Come on. all still be fresh apart from my dull Amroth men but I suppose even walking for them is a, a tiresome thing mainly because of all the armor they've got what's happening with Mordor they're coming towards us slightly these guys are winded it's not good but then again these guys are only archer archers ah, it's really sucking that the stamina of Gondor are quite awful Boromir or Faramir even is fresh. Okay, so we're gonna attack their general straight away. For fuck's sake. Here we go, so Faramir's firing some arrows in. Hit their leader a little bit. And they're running towards us. Uh, now, see, this is what really fucking pissing me off. First of all, we get him in, in sort of line to fire at them, and now they're charging us down the hill, which is really bad because it puts us in such a bad position. So now we're on a kind of like a downhill battle. This is not good for our men. Archer militia are just standing there like fucking idiots. Move! Move! Why are you standing there? And then the reason why this mod is not as <sighs> why this mod is not as um, perfected as it could be. We're gonna lose this unit. We're not careful. That's their general there, so hopefully we can kill him, we'll do good. Where is Faramir? It says they're moving, but they're not. So they're kind of stuck. Same with all my archers, they're stuck. These guys are just dying now. Um, so are these guys. So our men are doing quite well. We're actually losing quite a few men. It's really annoying. Mainly because of the fact um, that archers are getting in the way. Armira, can you fire up there? If you guys can just fire into these guys, that'd be good. See, these got archer guys, they're sort of fighting. Kind of not fighting. These orcs are getting or losing quite heavily here. There's still a unit back here for some reason. What are these guys doing? Who's firing on these guys? The game seems to be freezing up a lot, or, or something's wrong with the scripts, or something like that. Yeah, I can't wait till their leader dies. Where is he? Their leader is here. He's still not dying. Please die, man. Please die. As soon as you die, the world will be a happier place. Um, 
impetuous. It's nothing. These guys are eager. These guys are doing really well. Heavy infantry. 187. These Oryx are down to 36 now. Cool down, 127. The hell? Oh, my bowmen are actually hitting my own bowmen. One of them just died there from being hit. Good, that's good. These Uruk bodyguards are down to 30. It doesn't seem like they're on 30. I really should just go round. And I keep putting the camera off the edge there. These guys are on 41 Orc Raiders, so they're losing. Uruk bodyguards on 28. Gondor will prevail. We've only lost 15% of their men. They've lost 32. They are putting up good fight up against us though this is better than I thought they would be actually we're losing quite a few men here uh, any of these guys are, like routing it no it's because their general's still alive as soon as their general dies he's uh, he is somewhere here I can't remember where he was I've seen him twice already and I got really lucky all right he's dead Right, now they should be shaking. Yep, most of them are wavering and so forth. That is good. As soon as they, as soon as they break, that will be a good point. They should be breaking. I don't understand why they're not breaking. Our men are, are certainly putting a number into them. Okay, now they're attacking. Now that I issued them an att uh, attack order into them. Right, these guys are all like routing. Routing. I'm just going to end the battle here, really, because I don't want to lose any more men than I already have. 186 men lost to 270. Ooh, that's about half compared to what I killed of the enemy. Casualties healed. Uh, about 20 something. Uh, casualties sustained. Sustained quite a few men losses. Oh well. At least we took out the orcs in this area. We can hold a keep. Um, probably get some new reinforcements in, I suppose. And try and retrain some men if I can. We have vanquished the enemy. Okay, so let us uh, occupy the settlement. Uh, and then our realm has expanded, as the guys said. Enables training of I can retrain uh, Let's get town hall there just so we can retrain some troops a skillioth needs to place like it's got town guard actually That's not bad. It needs something like a barracks though a barracks would be great to have but that's 4,000 coins So I might wait for a little while for that to happen if I can get like Gondor units with armor, man, that would be good. And I think Minas Tirith eventually we will have that. So turn-wise, we should be making ooh a couple of profit next turn. Blade of Mordor, one respect. So Faramir has a a new toy. So just so I can check that everything's still on par, we've got Journeyman of Gondor. He's on his way. My lord. This guy's spoken to Dale and so forth. Um, and then I'm going to talk to question, Tomorrow's Rune. journey planned out. And as soon as we speak to them, then it'll be fine. As we can see here, we can see the borders. The Harad have another unit here. Um Yes. We can go no further today. We've got some horsemen coming along. See, these guys are going to attack us. We're going to know about it. 
And they've got six units, so I'm gonna send my men in to reinforce. So I'm actually gonna send men I can across to this little settlement here because they're gonna come across. That's gonna take two turns. It's gonna get take two turns for us to reach them. And with these guys, they they're not gonna have a chance. So I'm gonna end the turn here, and I'll be back to see you guys in a second. So Gondor has an enemy of Mordor attacking them now. And we look carefully. Dismounted Black Numenorians. They have some good units. Crap, that's going to be annoying. We're not going to fare well against these guys. Okay. Right. We're going to have to send Boromir to the rescue here. I do not want Faramir dying this close in on the campaign. Dwarves and Ruin are together, so I can't. So they want your orders. If only I can. Is there something I can do for you? Enemies. Your plan seems balanced enough to me. Uh, very well. They sound really weird. Fangorn reached. Okay, mission success. Dol Amroth Squires. That's pretty cool. Okay, so are they going to come attack us? Oh, crap. They've got more units. Uh, I'll need to send out more of my units. They're, that's going to be used to defend against these guys. Harab and Spearmen. 4 and 8. 6 and 16. So that's fine. Our defense is a bear. Can we reach them? Let's do this. Let's show these guys. Okay, so we're gonna attack these orc raiders here. So what I wanna do is, seeing as we've already had a battle on this um, episode and we don't really need to see another one, I'm gonna end the part here and I may face this battle now or I might wait till the next part. It doesn't look to be that interesting, it's just a couple of orcs again who I'm just gonna slaughter um, it's not that big a deal for a battle uh, and on the next turn we'll have the defense of Faramir and we'll see how that goes anyway I hope you guys like this part like comment su subscribe I forgot what I was gonna say there you know so do all the regular stuff um, and I'll be back to bring you the next part shortly and as I've said before countless times really enjoying this let's play and this is the first instance we've been attacked so that is gonna be quite interesting anyway Hope you guys enjoyed, and that's me signing off.